Aaron, thank you so much. Well, Aaron's talking about some warming temperatures just in time maybe to grab some ice cream. Well, hey, listen, you can buy their ice cream across the nation and some of it made right here in Kern County. Canby is live this morning at Dry's Ice Cream for her last made in Kern County. Hey, Canby. Hey, good morning, guys. Let me tell you, it is a production just to get in here to the dryer's facilities. You can see everything that we're wearing. Uh, required to wear jeans this morning. Uh, not to mention the hairnet, the hat, the gloves, the little booties. Then we also had to use a lint roller on us. In addition, we had to wash our hands. Then they have a really cool little dryer. Ba -da -ba. Here, it is really amazing. Let me tell you the smell. It smells delicious. I have never smelled anything like this before. It smells like something home cooked meal, you know, like really sweet, a really sweet smell. We can see all this that we have going on here. The workers here work 24 hours a day, you guys. This is a non stop production. We're doing the drumsticks over here, right, John? Yep. What's going on here with this conveyor belt that we have? So, right now, the drumsticks have already been produced and wrapped into individual wrappers, and they're coming down here to where this lady here is going to put them into a little tray so that we can load the cartoner and put them into a four pack carton that gets sold at the store. Okay, so she puts all day long for her eight hour day, she's putting them in four, in packs of four? Each of the positions on each of the drumstick lines we rotate through, so she'll do this for about 30 minutes and then rotate on to the next one. Okay, job. good, because that seems like it could be a sort of a boring day. Now, once they, once this has is, is gone through all of this, about how many workers will have processed these drumsticks? Each of these lines probably has about eight people, eight to nine people okay. on the on line. That make this work. How many drumsticks on average per day do you guys produce? Each line does about a couple, 150,000 drumsticks a day. Oh my God. So how much would you say of the nation's drumsticks is this facility producing here? Uh, we're in the eight to 10 million cases worth oh of drumsticks God. in a year. This is amazing. You know, I've driven past this before. I've seen it. You have no idea that inside all of this is going on. Do you hear that fairly often? Pretty often, yes. Yeah. I, I mean, we have 26 lines within the building, so we make a light of ice cream. Yeah, and so today you guys are doing the drumsticks, and then you're also doing fruit bars. Is that right? That's correct. And then how often does that change up uh, during the day? Uh, during the day, we just will change from one flavor to another. Uh, in each of the lines, we have four lines that make drumsticks. They do nothing but drumsticks seven days a week all year long. Okay, if you're wondering where this is, guys, we are at the dryers on a District Boulevard. Do you guys do field trips ever for kids? Uh, no. We, uh, the, the one plant that we used to have that did field trips, uh, yeah. we closed up in Union City. Okay, because let me tell you, that's a production for those kids to have to do all of this as well. So probably a good thing that they don't do the field trip. That's a lot of kids to keep clean in here. It's hard enough for me, guys. All right, Candy Brown, have fun. Maybe get a little taste of that ice cream later on. Well, Thank thinking, you. Yeah. Kern County segment. Hey, Candy. Good morning, guys. This is the largest ice cream facility in the world, and it's right here in Kern County. Pretty amazing. They use five to six tanker trucks of milk a day, just to kind of put that in perspective for you guys. This is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen before. I'm going to have LJ turn around, and you can see exactly how these drumsticks are made. Now, what you're seeing right now is actually they're switching off because every 30 minutes they get to do a different part of the rotation of making these drumsticks. So you see the cones are set in. Then chocolate is put into the cone to coat it. Then you see the ice cream get put on. Then it goes into a hardener. As you see it going in there, that's actually negative 65 degrees in there in order to harden the ice cream because that's the biggest challenge is keeping the ice cream cold. Now you notice we're not all in fur coats or bundled up with scarves and gloves. That's because it's actually really not that cold in here. Uh, the, the reason is is because they want to be able to keep the workers comfortable and also they just keep everything moving. So here you see all the drumsticks. They're shown in, in sets of eight. They move on down this conveyor belt here. 
and then they end up with Gary. Well, Gary's on the line here right now, uh, and, that, and then in 30 minutes, he'll be switching off again. Now, they make this look easy to be able to set these in packs of four. It's not. Let me tell you, we've been trying to see how good we would be at doing this, but we don't want to mess up any of the production. Now, after it's done into sets of four, the reason it's in sets of four is because it gets packaged. How cool is this, you guys? This is what you see in your grocery store, the set of four. You can see here, here's what the packages look like, but the machine takes care of all of it, although Dryers does employ almost a 1,000 people here in Kern County. So here it goes as the drumsticks start their way down. Then they're actually going to get into boxes that will then be shipped to the store. Now listen, LJ, if you can show up here, if you guys see this as it's rotating around, you see the drumsticks going up there, everything is overhead. That's because the workers have to be able to work underneath there. And you know, I told you guys it's not very cold in here, but let me tell you what's amazing in here, the smell. In fact, you were saying, John, that there is nothing like the smell of freshly made ice cream. What's it like to work here? How many ice creams do you eat a day? I more than I should, uh, but not as much as, as we make, because we make a whole lot of ice cream yeah, that day. About how much do you guys make a day? We, we probably make about two or 3,000 gallons worth of ice cream a day, okay. and another half a million cases a day. And we're not just talking about the drumstick, guys. How long will the drumsticks be going on here today? Is this an all-day production, or when will it switch? We, we started up about 4, and we'll run until about midnight tonight. Okay, and then you'll switch into something else, right? Clean the line for a couple hours, and then we'll go into a vanilla or a fudge flavor tomorrow. Give us an idea of everything that's made here, because, I mean, to hear the largest ice cream facility in the world, that's pretty shocking. Uh, we make a lot of things. We make push-ups. We make regular uh, sandwiches. We make drumsticks and all the different flavors and varieties. We make skinny cow cones. We make skinny cow sandwiches, tall house sandwiches, dibs, packaged ice cream, the 48-ounce product that you buy in a regular retail food store. And we make shakes and smoothies as well as a three-gallon container that we go to our scoop shops. Wow, this is amazing, you guys, to see this. And the workers are having a good time. They get to switch off every 30 minutes because I was worried it could get sort of boring. But when they're switching like that, it kind of keeps them more active. So hands down, one of the coolest things I've gotten to experience. They don't do family tours. They don't do school tours. So the only way you're going to see this is if you're watching right now. Ta -da. <laughs> All right, Camby Brown, thank you very much. Myers Manufacturing Facility. Good morning, Camby. Good morning. You know what? This got started in a garage by Mr. Dryers. Look at it now. This is crazy. Now look, in here is where the ice cream is. Then that ice cream goes through here and we're making the push-ups. You might remember having them as a child. It was one of my childhood favorites. And th you can see, here's how this works. Oops, excuse me, Denise. So they have this little claw thing that you can see inside where all the uh, orange, orange holders are. And then fills them up right over there. Then that goes through the conveyor belt. That then it gets shot in with the ice cream. Then a, uh, the top is put on it. And right now the ice cream is soft. And as it goes in there, it is a freezer that is then going to harden the ice cream. Then it goes through the through the freezer all the way down here. Well, excuse us, ladies. So now it's getting frozen. And here it comes out. And so what happens is you can see she actually individually packs them and then puts them on the uh, belt here. Then you can see as the arm grabs that little box and they put it down and then it is boxed up. It's taken around here where this lady is going to package it. Then it gets up onto the conveyor belt, onto a truck, into the freezer at your local grocery store. This is really incredible.
incredible. How many push pumps do you guys make a day? And you know, I should tell you guys, the drumsticks are the ones that they make the most of here. But how many push pumps? We do about 250 a minute, so 12,000 an hour and about wow. 15. 150 a minute? That is insane, you guys. Pretty crazy that this started at somebody's home and eventually became this big, huge company. Now, you guys employ 900 workers, 250 push pops a minute. Give us some more statistics. You guys use five to six of those huge vats of, of milk. What else? Uh, we'd have about two or three tankers of sweeteners that, that come in every day. Okay. And a tanker of chocolate, at least one every day. Wow. And you guys do taste tests every single day. How does somebody get that job? <laughs> but number one, every ice cream maker that works here has to taste ice cream on their line. Okay. In addition to that, every shift we taste every product that we make during the day. <laughs> quality control, making sure that every single push pop, every single drum stock, all the products that are made here, which they make about at least a dozen out here, that they all taste exactly the same. So you want to make sure that when you get it out of the freezer at your grocery store, you're getting the same thing that you've had before. If you've never been past here, it's on District Boulevard. Now don't bother calling to see if you can get a tour. You cannot. Uh, because they don't do that, especially because it is a very rigorous process just to be able to get inside here because of all the cleanliness that they want to make sure is in here. So they make you go through an entire process, which is why they don't do uh, those tours here. But amazing, guys, the largest ice cream facility in the entire world. Just to put that into perspective for you guys, and it is right here in Kern County. Pretty amazing. Layla?